What's up guys and welcome to the channel. This is the first of many and uh, this is the first video of the channel and uh, I don't know what else to say other than that. But uh, it's a uh, humid day, really, really, really nice weather here in Florida and uh, I thought I'd give you guys a little look around at the truck today. I'm not going to keep you guys for too long. But um, basically what the whole point of this channel is to let you guys go on the road that I'm going on to Daytona. Since last year I wasn't able to really succeed due to a lot of medical problems. And um, we're here now. I'm better, I'm alive and everything. So uh, let's get you guys to the truck. Alright guys, well this is it. This is the 2016 F-150. XLT on a 6 inch rough country lift on 2010 Cali off roads on 35 12.5 Toyo open countries and got it. Uh, I got body armor, uh, the Eco Series bumpers. Uh, they actually put me into the 2019 uh, magazine for body armor, so that was really really cool. I got some, you know, cheap just shit brand cube lights that work fine I mean they're still bright so they do the job got the rough country grill that is going to be getting changed here soon I'm not gonna tell you guys with what but it's gonna be getting changed here with soon now the headlights these are Onzo USA headlights I got the switchbacks in them so basically I added a little bit of red in there. I'm gonna be taking the orange out and stuff and putting demon eyes in, so hopefully that turns out well. All right, moving to the back of the truck now. Nothing too fancy underneath it, nothing at all. I got some big plans coming up though for this truck. Um, I have the Recon taillights, which I have absolutely fallen in love with. These things look amazing. They sit so flush with your truck and everything. And uh, it really, 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 really goes good. But I also have the cube lights back here, body armor, bumpers in the back, same thing in the front. I have the, uh, I have plasti dips, you know, if you can't afford <laughs> actual <laughs> emblems, which I did this like a year ago and it still held up pretty well. It started to chip now, I need to redo all this. But those are plasti dips, all my emblems and everything. All right, now to under the car. I got the American Thunder Catback Flowmaster exhaust, a 2.5 inch tips on both sides. I decided not to put any tips on them. I just kind of tucked them up underneath my truck because, uh, you know, I want some custom tips and I want to get those custom tips done when I finish the whole under of the truck. But right now, you can't see it, so it looks awesome. Another thing I noticed about Body Armor's bumpers is a lot of people were saying they don't fit flush on the F-150s or anything. I really don't see what they're talking about. I mean, that looks pretty good to me. So, like I really don't see what people are saying that that does not sit flush. That looks great. Now the interior, I'm sorry guys, it's, it's dirty. It's really dirty. What I did here is, I have the XLT model of course, so all this is custom done in here. Um, I wrapped my trim pieces all to this red color. I don't know if you could see the sparkle in it. I'll try to try and get the, yeah. There's a sparkle in everything. I added the chrome, the chrome trim there. I painted all my doors black. I painted pretty much everything black. Painted everything black and red pretty much. It looks amazing in here, honestly. Um, I really, really fell in love with this red. I need to get rid of these reds. It doesn't really match at all. But uh, I'm gonna be putting an iPad dash kit in here. I'm gonna be making this red. Yeah, and it's basically just a work in progress, man. If you guys didn't notice when I first opened the door in the truck, I don't have a roof. Yeah. I don't have a roof. What that all is, is I install Starlight Headliners into trucks and cars and everything in general. So it's kind of like the Rolls Royce's roofs, but you know, not as expensive and a little affordable. Um, 
But yeah, uh, I'm doing mine now. Uh, it's actually in the garage right now, so I'll have that done here in a few. It'll be black. I'll probably do 450, maybe 600 stars in here. So that'll tie get together my entire interior, basically. So I'll have all the red in here and everything, and then, you know, hopefully my roof goes in. But right now it looks like a tin can. You can see it's nasty back here and everything. But pretty much what I'm doing now is I'm heading to go fill her up because she needs some gas. Like I said guys, it's an absolutely gorgeous day here in Orlando, Florida. It's a little overcast, but there's nothing like a little colder weather down here. It's always hot as hell down here. And uh, yeah, we're making our way up to uh, Wawa right now. It might get me a Wawa sub while we're at it, so uh, yeah. See if we can find ourselves a freaking pump. Damn. Well, it seems like Mr. Uh, highlighter Boy over here is gonna stand there. Oh, there's two highlighter boys. Come on. Oh, I think I got me a spot. Hello, you're. Cool. Let's do this. They're perfect for a tasty lunch. We're about to go quick, freaking like dead dinner. here even with the hunger cars. hits. We've got the hoagies you love. Wawa crafted to crave. <laughs> about you guys but some people get so iffy about leaving your truck on when you're pumping gas I've never really cared to turn off my truck when I'm filling up gas I don't know what's the problem with doing that but no oh god going poor Bad if I can get the damn thing in there. Cool. Nice. Ah. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there is nothing like a full tank of gas. It just it, it makes me so happy. It's just like, oh my god. I can drive without worrying. <laughs> I'm a bit hungry, so I think I'm gonna head over here to McDonald's if I can get in here. I might need to make this damn U-turn. I think I'm gonna be making that, so uh, I guess we're going that way. Well, shit. McDonald's! I don't know what I want. Don't want a cheeseburger or McChicken. That's hard. Let's see if I can slide in here. Uh. 
Hi, um, can I get two double cheeseburgers, please? Two double cheeseburgers? Yeah. And can you make one of those a meal with a medium fry, please? Okay, is a drink for that? Uh, large Coke, please. Sure. Anything else? That's it. Fantastic. Awesome. Thank you, man. Cool. That's it. Thank you. Awesome. McDonald's supposed to be fast food, bro. I'm not waiting on damn food. That's it. Thank you. I'm on my way home now, and uh, I wanted to inform you guys a little bit what this channel's really, really going to be about. Um, it's going to be my trip to Daytona, and it's I think I got seven months now to get my stuff together and finally get my truck to the exact way I really, really want it to be, which is, you know, on that 10-inch lift, powder-coated, everything done, looking nice and everything. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Look at that over there. That's a... That is sick. That is sick. All right, but what I was saying is, what this channel is really going to be about is my road to Daytona and everything. And I think I got like six or seven months. I think I just said that. But it's. I also wanted this video to be to inform you guys a little bit about me and about what my life has been about. Um, many people might not know, but uh, I was born with severe hemophilia A which is a bleeding disorder. And it's where the blood doesn't clot. So basically, if I don't take my medicine, I will bleed until there's nothing left to bleed. And I have to do a peripheral infusion every day, every other day, to, you know, keep me alive. On top of that, I had a craniotomy when I was one years old. And that's when a blood vessel pops inside your head. One of the worst things a severe hemophilic can have. And I pretty much died from it. And how my parents figured it out is my dad resuscitated me in my living room. If it wasn't for my dad, then I wouldn't be here right now. And I wouldn't be able to talk to you guys and share this story and everything, which, you know, it means a lot to me to be able to share my story. But another thing, in middle school and, you know, all through just all the school I've gone through, I was bullied really, really bad. Kids would tell me, to, they'd cut me and I'd bleed out and they would think it's funny. And I couldn't say anything. I could only, c Coping with it as a kid was really, really hard until I started growing up and realizing how to work with it. I also had to wear a blue helmet when I was... A little kid like on the playground and stuff to protect my temples because of my craniotomy that I had because if I got hit in the head again pretty pretty much deadly to me but um it it taught me so much on how to respect not only myself but respect people around me and respect the things that they go through and everything and uh Tying it all into this truck stuff, the reason why I'm telling you all this is the truck community has given me something to do. It's given me something to look on, it's giving me something to work on, it's giving me something that I love doing that makes me happy. I played baseball for 15 years of my life. 15 years, and I love baseball more than anything. But my junior and senior year, I couldn't play baseball. I had heart surgery my beginning of my junior year and uh, that put me out for almost a year and then recovery after that. So I didn't get picked up by anything, which killed me. And then I really got started into the truck thing. And the truck, this whole community and being able to do something that I love gives me something I can control other than the things I can't control in my life. My hemophilia and my condition, I can't control and stuff. But you know what? I can control this. It makes me happy and I like making you guys happy. And uh, I don't want this episode to be like, oh, pity on you. Uh, I feel bad for you and everything and all this stuff. I don't want that. I want this 
channel to be all about, you know, the truck and how it's going to succeed and I'm going to get it done by Daytona and I'm going to get to meet a bunch of you guys in Daytona and I'll be able to connect with the people that love doing the same thing I love doing. And that's this. So do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Follow this channel. Watch all the way of this build, all the way up into Daytona. Come meet me at Daytona. Follow me on Instagram. It's F1Hawk 5.0. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time.